All right, peace and love world. Welcome to another episode of Conversation with Zoe. Uh, we are here today. It's a special day. You know what I'm saying? We're with Weezy WTF. Uh, we don't have to search for a title because that's the title. Is it? Absolutely. Named oh, after you. Oh, this nigga getting the clicks on my you know ass. Saying? We doing it, you know, but um, I'm so happy to have you here. Me too. You know, thank you for your time. Um, I want to start today a little different. Um, I'm sure everybody knows who you are, but I was able to gather. That's a crazy ass thing to say. You think everybody knows who I am? Come on. Yes. 100%. No. 100%. All right. In this in this podcast world, because that that's... I'm Today, you know, I'm, I'm talking for my, my podcast family and my podcast... Maybe family. black podcasters. White people be trying to act like, oh, like call her daddy. No, bitch. Like what the fuck I said. Yeah. It's spelled like this. Right. <laughs> Shout out to Horrible Decisions, you know what I'm saying, podcast. But I was able to gather some quotes and some messages from staff and people that you know. Right? So I want to start today off by giving you flowers. Top, right. I'm on my period. I might start crying. All right. If it happens, then it happens. Only read the fun ones. Um, I mean, I got I got four. Five. Okay. Five. So we're gonna start with T, right? She's actually in the room. Shout out to T. <laughs> right. So Weezy was born a star. Why am I crying already? <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. All okay. right. So Weezy was born a star, and by divine timing, she will be she will only get bigger. The beautiful thing about her is as her star power increases, so does her humility. Oh, that's not true. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I be talking mad shit the more money I make. But it's like, I talk mad shit and I try to cover it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I be like, fuck all these niggas because we getting rich. But at the same time, we need them to come in. Right. But I appreciate that. Right. Uh, shout out to my guy, Edin. You know what I'm saying? He's the next one. Uh, Edin gave you one? Facts. Edin's my guy. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Weezy, congrats on 100K. From Engine Room to WTF Media Studios, you really did it. Hoax. Uh, hoax? Is that how you spell it? Hoax? Hoax. Ho oh, ho. Like ho? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, you don't know French. Got you. Mm, it's a classy ho. Okay, classy ho. All right. <laughs> Which I am. Right. That's a fact. Uh, we're going to go. So this is from Wolf. And this one's a little lengthy. But uh, we're going to we're gonna get to it. Okay. For sure. All right. So, boom. In NYC, you have to survive before you can live. Oh, this nigga. I've worked with a lot of people in this city, people that I looked up to and people that I admired for their talents and success. But more importantly, people that I thought I could trust because they look like me. But the truth is, in this city, a lot of people at the top forget what it was like to be at the bottom. And they take advantage of you. Maybe because it happened to them when they first started it or just believe it's called charging into the game. Oh my God. But... When I met you and Mandy, everything changed. For the first time in years of not being paid and working the hardest I've ever worked in my life, I met two women who didn't play about paying a black man. I met two women who never tried to play me not one time and always treated me with respect. I met women who said they believe in putting black people on, and that's exactly what you, what you ladies did. Because of Horrible, because of Alex, I am living a dream that... At one point in life, I wasn't sure it was possible. I paid my rent, I paid my bills, and I love my career. You owe me nothing. You've given me everything I ever wanted. At, and that was a fair chance. Thank you so much for helping me change my life. Wolf. You know why I'm crying? Like, Obviously, this is really sweet, but today is payday. I don't know when y'all are listening to this, but Wolf's check was so big that I had to call Chase to ask for an increase to sell it to him. And like, I'm laughing about the shit, but I'm just like, yo. And I said to Wolf, like, yo, I want you to make like double this money. I really think you will. Like, even though this is the biggest that you've ever made in a biweekly pay period, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't even think that it's like not possible. And it just like feels really good to hear that because more than it feels like uh, flowers to me, like, in my brain, like, I just want it for Wolf. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, uh, something with Tiana that I remember, not, like, trying to make it a, like, I helped you, bitch, because I'm not saying it like that. But when I started working um, for this company, I got a computer. And I was like, well, hold on now. She ain't got one. So I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, actually, I have an assistant that needs da 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 Like, I'm, I'm just always going to find a way. And I just feel like, 
I, I think I'm getting successful because I'm doing that. Right. Like, that's the only real secret to the sauce, I think. Right. Is like you have to do that for people because yeah. being that person is how I'm getting on. Right. So it's like if you don't have that karmic shit go on, you're just you're just not going to get it. Right. I, I definitely do feel that. Uh, we got Yomi. And uh, she sent me. Uh, so I, it's actually a picture of Wolf. Cool. Can you see it? <laughs> right. And this is what you said to her. You said, who said y'all can have a good time outside of work? <laughs> <laughs> it said, sorry, I just miss you, love you. But still, what the WTF, no pun. <laughs> right? that, that was a good one. That, was a, that good was a good one. one. That was a good one, right? And then uh, we got Ian Dunlap, right? I was able to get in contact with him. He's actually going to record with me on Wednesday here. Oh, shit. Right? So, you know, this is... We're going to double up on this one, right? But this is, uh, so I wrote one and he he sent me a voice note, right? So to my oh, guy, Ian, right? Did. God damn, that nigga loves a voice note. Right. You got to pause your music, right. stop driving your car <laughs> to listen 45 seconds. Peace, peace. If he says love you dearly, let's hear it. All right. <laughs> Weezy is one of my favorite people on earth. I hope you can hear the joy in my voice as I'm leaving this. One of the humblest Super sweet and talented people that I know. I remember the first time I met her in New York. I had been a fan of her and Alex. I went to the studio and I had a little fanboy moment. Like, nigga, that's Wheezy. <laughs> For her, not now to be a friend and business partner, I've always told her that kind souls and honorable people will come together and win in the end. The hard work and dedication has paid off. She's super helpful, super loving. Despite all the shit she talks... She's really sweet and super loving at heart. Right. And then the second one, we could play it. So to Weezy, I love you. It's an honor to be your friend. Um, a pleasure to be your business partner and a dream come true to be able to be um, close with you. Um, and we always have a hell of a time whenever we kick it. Can't wait to do it again. Congrats on all your success on the show. The Adidas shit is major. I love you dearly. I'm super fucking proud of you. And I told you from day one, you're a fucking star. <laughs> and I think uh, you're one of the most important people in our culture. So I'm glad to see you get your flowers. Love you. Did I die? <laughs> Am I, is this my fucking funeral, nah, man? we just giving you your flowers. That's all. I'm going to tell you something, though. And I do not give this compliment to a lot of people. I am so impressed right now. Thank you. Like... I am very impressed. I almost want to steal this. But, yeah. like, <laughs> I told Wolf yesterday. I said, you, Wolf, what did I say? I don't remember what you said. I was drinking, too. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, I got to do three podcasts around. I said, I really hope people don't ask me the same oh, shit. Oh, yes. Because, and I didn't mean it. And, like, Alex was joking, like, oh, you got to be interviewed. I was like, no, it's just mm -hmm. reliving the same conversation isn't easy. Right. And, like... I want to give a fun experience to podcasters too. And doing this shit for so long, sometimes I'm like, fuck, is someone going to have a good time with me? Right. Am I thinking of something different or innovative? Like, it's really not easy to be different yeah. because we're learning from other people. So it's like, it's almost got to spark your brain. I don't listen to podcasts mm -hmm. because I feel like I'm going to take something on accident. Got you. You know what I mean? This, like this. <laughs> right. I mean, th this is me uh, just, I'm, I'm very intentional. Very detail oriented, and uh, I like to when I when I bring people on, and I know some of their circle. Like I like to do things like this, you know, just to give people their flowers and let people know how they feel about them. And sometimes we know we don't always get the opportunity to express that. It reminds me of this Curb Your Enthusiasm episode where he had a funeral while he was alive. You remember that? Right. And Larry was like, "What the fuck? Why are we doing this shit?" But when you think about it, it's like a joke. But it's like, damn. You don't really have besides a birthday. When else do I get a nice caption from somebody? Right. And also. Sometimes, and this is so fucked up to say, but I'm gonna be honest. When you're in a light, like a, I don't wanna say celebrity, but like podcaster or whatever, like you post a picture, you might get 300 comments from a bunch of people that, and it does feel really good. Don't get me wrong. Right. But hearing from those people that I actually know and that know me, mm -hmm. that hits different. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like what a bitch. Like I could get a bunch of likes and I'm going to click to see if that one nigga did it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I need to know that like the people I fuck with are fucking with me the same way. Right. 
Like that feels good. I think that's what's really good about you being intentional with that. That's what people want right. to hear. Because you could have told me that whole thing and I would have appreciated it, but it was different. They probably right. wouldn't have cried. No, yeah, facts. I mean, you cried like the first couple of words, but we're here though. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Right. I got you. I got you. <laughs>